Welcome to Getting the Most Out of Zoom with Cinemaker Director Studio. My name is Daniel Flores, aka DTM. I am a 2D illustrator and I'm an Adobe instructor teaching Photoshop, Illustrator, and Adobe Fresco. I am also a regular streamer to YouTube, Facebook, and Behance. Plus, for the past few years, I have been using Cinemaker to record and edit videos for my Adobe Max Digital Art segments and a series of demos for Sketchable App. I really enjoy how easy it is to use Cinemaker on the Mac and the iPad. Today, I am going to share how to output Cinemaker to the Zoom app with the help of Cinemaker's virtual web camera and Cinemaker audio driver. Then we will go over the steps required to include remote guests in your Cinemaker production by way of Cinemaker's tight integration with Zoom's video network. We can invite remote guests and remote cameras from anywhere in the world and then switch the remote guest AV into Cinemaker session. This workflow is perfect for interviews, guest speakers, and panelists. Then finally, we'll take time for some Q&A. Now, before we proceed, I must encourage you to sign up for the Welcome to Cinemaker Director Studio webinar so that you can understand the features and functions of Cinemaker. RSVP for the webinar at Cinemaker.com or visit the Cinemaker Studio YouTube channel for the replays. As creators, we have important stories to tell. More than ever, today's live streams, remote online meetings, and videos have become critical to communicate and motivate our audience. At the same time, viewers have high expectations and come to expect quality video and engaging experiences. The problem is, that we want to make our Zoom sessions more engaging. But the view from a single webcam is not very interesting. Plus we want to include media to make our storytelling more engaging. Cinemaker Studio is a fun, simple, and affordable way to connect your Mac, iPhones, and iPads, plus digital cameras to create broadcast quality live streams and videos beyond your expectations. Cinemaker has reimagined video creation workflows, giving creators like you and me superpowers to create like a pro with no experience necessary. Now with Zoom integration, we make our Zoom meetings, webinars, and events more engaging and effective. In today's webinar, I would like to give you a brief demo of the two Zoom integration features now available in Cinemaker. We're going to start with Cinemaker output to Zoom sessions. Then we will explore the remote guests and remote camera. Okay, it's time to share my Cinemaker director setup. First, we must go check our Cinemaker settings. On the top left of Cinemaker is our menu icon. Click and then select settings. Look for the line that has send AV program out to Cinemaker virtual webcam driver. Cinemaker's virtual webcam driver is required to send the output to Zoom and for Zoom to recognize Cinemaker. As you can see, I already have my Zoom meeting in progress. There we go, what is up, how you doing? <laughs> the webcam from my MacBook Air is my live camera in Zoom and the audio is coming in through the microphone in this device. Okay, the following steps will allow you to output Cinemaker to your Zoom sessions with the help of Cinemaker virtual web camera and audio driver. Now, I'm going to share my Zoom main screen and we're gonna look for the settings for video and audio. So let's go ahead and clear out some room here. Move it over while we bring down Zoom this way. Give me some room. Thank you very much. Zoom looking good. I like it. On the bottom left of our screen, we can locate the video and audio icons. There is an arrow next to the icon and this is where we're going to select our video device. So let's go ahead and click on it. From the pop-up menu, select Cinemaker Virtual Web Camera. There it is. I see it. Let's click on that. Bam! Whoa! Look at that! Yes, now it's time to select our audio source. Find the arrow next to the audio icon. There we go, our microphone. And select Cinemaker audio device. So Cinemaker video and output is in perfect sync. Now to make sure we can hear our participants, 
in the speaker settings select the headphones or in my case the MacBook Air speakers is good enough. Boom, I can now hear my participants and there it is. Your video and audio output is now being seen by your Zoom participants and now you're making Zoom sessions more engaging beyond the single webcam. The second section of today's webinar is how to include remote guests and remote cameras in your Cinemaker sessions. With Cinemaker, you can simply invite and include Zoom meeting attendees as featured interviews, guest presenters, speakers, panelists, and more. Now I'm going to show you how that is done. Step one, go to network browser by tapping the camera icon to the right of the big red button. From the network browser window, scroll down and find the remote guest remote camera section. Step two, sign into your Zoom account. You will use your Zoom login and then tap the login button. Step three, after successful login, you will tap the start meeting button and a new Zoom session will be created for your remote guest to connect through. A pop-up will ask you to fill in the meeting title field and tap the accept button. Step four, tap the meeting info button to share the meeting details with your remote guest. The share details will allow you to invite your remote guest to participate in your Cinemaker production. To invite your remote guest to your Cinemaker production, you will use the share options or copy and share manually. Meanwhile, upon receiving their invite, your guests will need to accept by clicking the link. This should open Zoom on their device and automatically log them into your Cinemaker session. Step five, when your guests connect to the Zoom session hosted by Cinemaker, you will see their Zoom screen names inside of the Cinemaker interface. At this point, they are in the Zoom meeting room as a spectator waiting to be included in your production, but not yet in your Cinemaker session. Step six, you will then need to switch the toggle to the right of their name to add your desired guest into the Cinemaker session. They will then be assigned a camera number and their status will now appear as in Cinemaker as guest. Click the back button to return to your Cinemaker interface where your guest will appear in preview mode. Now is the time to operate your remote guest session. When you return to the Cinemaker Live interface, you will be able to switch between cameras include media and mix audio as you normally would. You may also live stream your session or record them and edit later in playback using the in-app editor. At any time, you can turn off the switch to disconnect each Zoom guest from their camera slot. For more help with remote guests or any other features and functions, visit the Learning Center in the Start Screen menu or at Cinemaker.com. I have been Cinemaking for a few years and I'm still excited to produce broadcast quality live streams, meetings, and video recordings. Now I get to add superpowers to my Zoom sessions with an app that is simple to use and includes high quality tools and graphics as you switch between different camera angles. You can also turn off and on the rich media, lower thirds, picture in picture, play pre-recorded video files, and output to Zoom. Plus, of course, Include remote guests from anywhere in the world with the help of Cinemaker's Zoom integration. The engagement and value of your Zoom sessions will have a bigger impact with your audience. What do we need to get started, Dan? Your Mac or iPad for Cinemaker Director Studio, Macs from 2018 or later, and for cameras, you may use iPads and iPhones running iOS 13 or later. You'll also have your Max webcam available as well as digital cameras. For more details on minimum and recommended hardware requirements, please visit Cinemaker.com. We will also need Cinemaker Director Studio and Cinemaker Capture. Cinemaker Director Studio is available for free from Cinemaker.com and the App Store. Cinemaker Capture, the free companion app that turns each iPhone and iPads into Cinemaker video and audio capture devices is available on the iOS App Store for free. Download to your phone and start using it as a camera. Please make sure that you have a strong Wi-Fi connection 
to support your connected Cinemaker devices. iPhones, iPads, and the Mac must be on the same powerful Wi-Fi network connection to ensure connectivity between the devices. Connecting your devices with Ethernet is also an option. Cinemaker Director Studio is a production and post-production app that allows you to record, live stream, output to many of the platforms we use every day, including Zoom, YouTube, and Facebook. Plus, Cinemaker Director includes an in-app editor and you can export your project files to Premiere Pro and or Final Cut Pro for further editing. Cinemaker Director is free to get started so that you can immediately test these new superpowers. Engage your audience with the power of rich media and graphics, pre-recorded video, and different camera angles. Test Cinemaker for your streams and Zoom sessions with a complimentary 7-day free trial. After the free trial, you can still enjoy broadcast quality audio and video for free. For continued access to all 8 video sources, external audio sources, and more, subscription and support starts at $29.99 a month or $199.99 a year. It is now time to open the floor for questions. There is a question. Thank you very much for watching and engaging. Okay, what's the question? The question is, what is the AV webcam driver? Cinemaker virtual webcam driver is required to send the Cinemaker output to Zoom and for Zoom to recognize Cinemaker each time you want to bring Cinemaker output into your Zoom sessions. Please feel free to send us your questions, comments, and suggestions to dan at cinemaker.net. Thank you very much for joining us today. I am Dan Flores, aka Delta Tango Mike. For more information on Cinemaker's features and functions, please visit the Learning Center in the Star Screen menu of Cinemaker app or at cinemaker.com. Download Cinemaker Director Studio for free at cinemaker.com or download from the Mac App Store or the iPad App Store for free. And please join the Cinemaking Facebook group and share your streaming questions. Like and subscribe to Cinemaker Studios on YouTube where we share demos and tutorials to level up your live streams. And reach out to me with any questions, suggestions, and comments on how you plan to use Cinemaker for your video production. Until next time, stay Cinemaking.